Welcome everyone, this is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today we're going to install the FlashFire app for your Samsung Galaxy S4. This is a much needed, much required video. I had a lot of uh, comments asking me about this. What can I do now that I've rooted my phone? Um, basically installing this FlashFire will allow you to flash files like custom files like today. I'm also going to flash a Wi-Fi tether for you for those who still have unlimited data. Um, you can flash custom ROMs is what I have on this phone is a custom ROM. You can make backups. You can also uh, wipe like your cache. You can do a lot of system wipes and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, only downfall basically is it's running through this. You, don't, you can't go into like a safe strap or somewhere before this phone boots up. So if anything gets messed up, you'll have to just go through Odin program, reinstall your uh, you know, your firmware and everything and come back up, root again, and then go back into it. But hey, that's what we got. But right now I'm on OC1. Um, see the last three there? Uh, some of y'all may be on OF1. But if you've got the root access, then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and back out of here. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google Plus. If you don't, fine, whatever. I'll have a, I'm going to go ahead and copy a link. It'll be down below for you guys. But here's what you have to do. You have to be a, a member of this community. Once you're a member of this community, it's also by Chainfire. He's the one who does the Super Sue, who does all the cool stuff with root, once your phone is rooted to gain access to several really cool files. So we're just going to go ahead into here. All right, here's the beta test. It, it's still beta test for some odd reason, but hey, what the, whatever. So, and I also have this link down below. So if this link doesn't work, you can go into the Google Plus community. All right, we want to become a tester. Shabam. All right, let's let that go through. Okay, you are now a tester. So let's download the FlashFire app. This is so cool because I am, um, I like putting custom things on my phone and I definitely want this right there, mobile hotspot, because I'm with Verizon and Yes, I have a limited still and I'm grandfather, so let's go ahead and install this. Get that going. Alright. Ooh, insufficient storage. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay, I got it. I just have a little too, mon uh, too many things, I guess, on this phone or whatever. One cool thing, and once you get root and all that, you could probably move a lot of this stuff over to your micro SD card. But for now, I'm just going to uninstall Minion Rush get that out of the way so hopefully we'll have enough space so um let me go back into the play store here okay now that we're back let's go ahead and install hopefully i can get it in there this time there we go so we're gonna let this uh install which is only about eight megs no big deal um then we'll open it right up and i'll show you some of the stuff that um is inside of this app here Oop, let's go back to open all right, requiring root access. If you don't have root access on your on your phone, this is not going to work. It's not going to let you do anything. So yes, I want to go ahead and hit grant. Okay, and welcome to FlashFire. All right, disclaimer, agree. Okay, follow me. I already do, so I'm just going to back out of that. All right, so at this moment, you can see backups. Like I have a couple backups already on my phone. Um, you can also look at uh, partitions. You have different partitions here, okay? Um, I like in. Excuse me. Let me go to actions. All right. Well, you can also go down to settings. Let's do that. Make sure everything's good. You want to follow them. Um, I've got the pro. If you don't have the pro, I suggest getting it. It's just well worth it, and it's well worth his time and energy that he's put into this to go ahead and supplement that difference for a free app. All right. So this is what it will look like at the beginning. It'll ask you, it'll tell you a couple things about instructions, Samsung write protection. You can kind of just swipe those away if you wish. Now at this point, we can hit add. All right, now we can do backups, restore backups, flash firmware packages, flash zips. We can do wipes, like let's say for backup. All right, we can do a normal backup. All right, and like at the top here, um, you know, you could change your location and stuff like that. So we may do more about that later on, but I'm going to, excuse me. Go back in here and just uh, start real quick. We're just going to do a flash, a zip file. 
All right, I'll have two zip files down below for those who want the Wi-Fi tethering if they don't have it on their rooted phone. All right, there'll be a two files, one for OC1 and the one for OF1. So just take a look down there and make sure you get the right one. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to SD card. I have everything in my download section. All right, once this searches, I'm going to click the file and one thing to not be scared about is once you install this all right it's going to do some crazy stuff so oc1 safe stripe nope we don't want to do that one the oc1 tether add-on zip okay right there we do not want on them out just leave that unchecked okay now you see a bunch of cool stuff let's get the right protection out of here and instructions out of here so you can see a little bit better now your flash zip ever root is disabled keep that that way and it's going to reboot when you have multiple things you want to do at once, see this here? You can move stuff around. So a lot of times people have problems flashing custom ROMs because this isn't set up in a correct order. It's this, then that, then, oops, back out of that. You know, it, it goes in order, all right? So at this moment, we got OC1 Tether. We're going to hit Flash, and it's going to ask us. So if you ever accidentally hit it, there you go. All right, take a minute or two for it to load. That's pretty cool, so here we go. You guys get a chance to take a look how this operates. It's pretty weird at first. It almost kind of scared me. So, But um, once I went through with it, it wasn't a big deal. And it actually looks pretty cool. So as you can see, it's loading. It's got a nice little not too positive if that's actually files that are on your phone that's rolling through. Or if it's just kind of like a uh, you know little recorded file that blows through there. So you can kind of kind of looks neat looks like it's all computer graphic and stuff like that so once this is complete at the should uh, either reboot or it's going to boot into a flashing file but well, you'll see it here in a second there you go just like that some of y'all with safe strap or twerp or you know um, teamwork recovery those kind of things you can kind of it's kind of similar to that and as you can see it just did its thing the phone's going to reboot My hair vibrating a second. There it goes. It rebooted. So far, so good. Nothing to worry about. And we're getting there. So if I end up pausing this and Coming back to when it's fully booted up, just um, I apologize. I'm not trying to edit or cut anything that's very vital or informational for you. So, and I'm not trying to throw up some kind of trickery or anything like that. This works for my phone. Oh, well, here we go. We're here. All right, so we'll let all the apps appear. Do its thing. All right, there's Flash Fire. And... We'll just disable Wi-Fi and turn on mobile hotspot. And you'll watch it. Hopefully it'll work for you. Now if I've gone too far in the video, whatever, this is just basically wrapping it up, um, turning Wi-Fi on. And uh, if you don't need it, if you've got a, um, you know, a tiered data plan or some kind of thing and you, you already have a mobile hotspot activated, then you, know, you can just disregard this part of the video. But for those who don't like myself, this is pretty much what you're looking for. Let me go ahead into it and make sure we're all good. So I just held down the button, turn it on. Look at that. Mobile hotspot activated. Love it. It's awesome. So I hope you all enjoy this video. This video, for one, is mostly for Flash Fire. You install Flash Fire. You could do things now with your samsung galaxy s4 okay other than you know what we were what we couldn't do before with lollipop so um and then we went ahead and installed a quick wi-fi tether and if you want to do custom roms or anything like that just let me know and i'll see what i can do and put like this one custom rom that i have on here running which i actually enjoy so thank you all for watching i'm bobby techno from bobby's tech world and i'm pulling chalks